And second of all, you don't forget the people who helped you, boost you up, and to help you continue whatever you're doing along the way. So I wanted to make sure that I came by. Uh, I know what I'd like to do at this time. If you, if you have process questions as we go along, I would, Chairman Hood, that I would like you to speak on, if you would. I do appreciate you saying the right development that goes a long way with residents. But as you know, in the Fort Totten case, and the Colonel Brooks case, and not necessarily in Oxbridge, but certainly in Colonel Brooks, the residents who were the most directly affected, who were the 200 footers, not only presented thorough testimony, and we have one of our experts here who she wants to identify herself, she can, um, but we also submitted extensive exhibits which uh, dealt with economic impact, which dealt with environmental concerns, which dealt with DDOT issues, which dealt with uh, quality of life uh, disruption. And yet, your entire commission, uh, and, that, and that, that project would have been less than 10 feet from uh, row houses for senior citizen residents, and yet your commission voted and said that that would not interfere with the quality of life, of life for that resident. And needless to say, as you're aware, it went to court and was remanded. But I would be interested specifically in what else can residents submit besides the extensive economic impact, besides expert testimony, besides uh, quality of life, besides testimonies uh, uh, against a project uh, by an A and C. What else can be submitted? Because as it looks on its face, certainly as an A and C commissioner, it certainly appears that the zoning commission as a body has never met a pub that it doesn't like. And regardless of how it impacts the residents. So I would be actually directly. Okay, do me a favor. Ask your question, Jill, and leave those. I wanted to know, know besides all of the detailed information, financial uh, impact, economic impact, witness testimony, expert testimony, pictures, quality of life, regulations, and I, I like what the gentleman said about not consistent because we certainly spoke about that. What would it take in terms of information presentation that you believe? that will qualify your colleague to say no to a PUD? I'm not going to answer. That, that's, I think that's an unfair question. No, you do. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, <laughs> but let me, let me tell you this. <laughs> but I think that's an unfair question. But let me tell you this, because I don't know what my, my colleague, just like on your commission, wow. you and your colleagues didn't agree. On, my commi on the commission I serve on, we don't always agree. But let me ask, let me, I'm not going to speak on what what can or cannot be. I'm not going to give a hypothesis because every case that we deal with is judged on its own merits. Okay, so I, I mean, I think that's an unfair question for me, so I'm not going to answer that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put myself in a situation where I'm being binded to anything. I would just say for 20 years, you know, there's a certain familiarity with an industry, and I would think that after 20 years as a zoning chair, you would have an industry knowledge about what parameters will qualify, certainly. Each case on. in 20 years, have been case specific and they, they're judged on his merits and it's been case by case by case. Yes. Um, and I don't know, again, I'm sort of new to all of this. Um, I have a question now. I hope it doesn't address this particular case. Um, but in the matter, I mean, again, I hear folks right here talk about, you know, what their rights could be or, or not or what the developer's rights are or whatever. And in, in the, uh, you know, in the zoning regulations there's that or I guess it's being considered that, that quote unquote matter of right. And it seems to me that matter of right is a developer, like it's not a right for, I mean again, not for people could be misunderstanding, but it doesn't seem like it's a matter of right for the residents. It seems like it's a matter of right, if, because it says you don't have to alert the residents about certain things, you can be at variance, you can get things, and you can say, it, but it's my matter of right. But it seems to me like a matter of right should maybe be something that residents should have, not so much developers.